time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. And you know where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda. That's G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. And it's time to get this review started. Right, y'all they have a new movie coming out today barb and star visit or go to vista del mar it's a long one i just call it barb and star for sure by Kristen wig and annie mumalo how do you see your name mumalo and also both of them acted in it they have teamed up before if you don't know and create they're co-creators of bridesmaid funny movie which you gotta love but this also stars jamie dornan you know him, Christian, Christian Grey from all the Fifty Shades of, of Grey movies. Well, he's in this one, and it's a comedy role this time. And let me tell you, I am here for it. This movie was made for, like, the potheads out there. I, I said it. It is made. This, I would say this movie is best watched being high or on the edibles or something because... I love these kind of silly slapstick jokes, but some of these jokes, you have to watch it two or three times to really appreciate them. And some of them, won't, I won't even pick up on it until like the third time I watch it. Yes, I watched it three times. I mean, they have fart jokes, which I love me a fart joke, you know it. They have, you know, these silly singers where you're just you're just listening and they walk in and he's doing his little cabaret singing, talking about boobies. I was like, that he's singing about boobies? And his name is Richard Cheese, the singer. The little singer guy who's doing all these little booby songs, Richard Cheese. You know what Richard is short for? D cheese. I was like, oh, they can't even get any <laughs> better with these silly jokes. They have a talking crab that's Morgan Freeman. You got a talking crab that's Morgan Freeman in. This is the pothead movie. Cheech and Chong's gonna love this movie. It's so silly. It's where my Christian J Gray came into it. And you know, we're so used to seeing him in these serious roles. We're so used to him as this billionaire buff. Christian Grey, who's serious, and but he's in this movie in a comedy role, and I'm like, oh, Christian Grey, you are showing your, you are showcasing your comedy skills in this. You are cracking me up. You are right along there with the Kristen Wiig and all them. You are stealing the scenes, and they're the comedy geniuses over here, and there you are stealing the scenes. This movie's not gonna be for everyone. If you don't like that kind of silly-ish humor, you ain't gonna like this. I mean, even if you like Bridesmaid, it's Bridesmaid, which has that kind of humor in it, this took it to a whole different silly level. <laughs> it did. And my husband even said he don't think guys are going to like this, which maybe I can see because, I mean, it's two women and they kind of like have these jokes that are, could be like between women. And it's, it's weird because they're kind of like these women in modern times, but they were maybe transported from like the 80s, the way they dress. They wear the colettas and, and talk about that all the time. And just the jolly tell though that Annie and Kristen Wiig had fun making this movie. It seems like they were just together, like brainstorming during the pandemic, stuck in the house. And they're like, let's just come up with the most outrageous kind of movie or show you know, skit that we can think of and just started going. I think they were kind of a little high themselves right in this. <laughs> I do. That's why I'm like, were they on something right in this? That's how silly it I is. I can even see them, you know, taking this little barb and star to different places. <laughs> I could. They first go to Vista, Vista Del Mar like this, but I could see them going, traveling the world, going to Europe, going over here, going over there, going to Washington, D.C., Maybe this, we have a franchise in the works with this. You don't like this silly kind of humor, you ain't going to like this. But just, you know, and, and some of the humor takes a while to pick up on. It takes, it takes you a minute, you know. Like they had this one part the girl was talking about when she was in school because she was real pale and stuff. When she, they, they would call her, you know, the white devil and the white this and white that and then a-hole. And I was like, you can tell I loved it. It was it was right up my kind of comedy alley. Yeah, it was. But give me fart jokes, I'm there for it. Give me some Christian Grey, I'm really there for it over and over and over again. <laughs> if you've seen it, let me know what you think. It's out today. Comments, thumbs, all that. It's on the PVOD. You know, you can stream it. And, you know, I, I suggest you do. If you want a good silly laugh like this, you are not gonna, this one is not gonna fail you. If you already see it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time, mwah!